This is Tales of Heroes number 82 for September 16th, 2011. Scorch this! Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes here on the Sound Strategy Network, www.sound-strategy.net. We are almost live from the fields of 1944, and we've got a great show for you today. Today is a very special day, and I'll get to why in just a second. But first, let me introduce myself. I am Bridger, a.k.a. Adam Ruzo, and uh, I am your host for this evening. And with me, as always, is my persistent co-host, Rogers. Welcome to the show. Well, I appreciate that, Bridger. Um, I've been sick, and just about everything else has been happening in my life lately, but I am still here to bring you guys a great game with with Bridger, so this is going to be a lot of fun. All right. We are getting ready to do this, and this is, in fact, the winning episode of our contest for August for Best High Skill Replay. We had seven total entries, and uh, I narrowed it down to three, and, uh, and we talked it over, and this is the one that we decided was the top replay. The other two are absolutely going to be featured on Tales of Heroes sometime in the future because they are also excellent, but this one wins the actual prize, and that one is submitted by Complexity... Congratulations, Complexity, one of the uh, GR.org, the GameReplays.org administrators for the Company of Heroes section. So we are going to get into this right now. Complexity is playing on the Wehrmacht, uh, sorry, Panzer Elite side. And the American player is Squirrely Wrath, which may or may not be a Smurf. I'm not familiar with that name, but it's a level 15 account with, I think, 71 and 17 as a win-loss ratio. So also a very good player. Let's jump Right into it, shall we? At the five second mark, unpausing in five, four, three, two, one, unpause. All right, so we are going to try to analyze what's going on here. We're back on Langris, the It's a Trap map. You're going to have to ignore some of the chatter that happens at the beginning here. <laughs> There's nothing we can do to get that out of the, uh, of the replay. So there's a bit of a conversation going on about some kind of ranking on something. So let's take a look at what's going on first. The Kettenkrad's going and grabbing the fuel and then going immediately for the other plus 10 fuel on the left. Now, the southern area of the map usually has a much easier time getting and holding this plus 10, plus 16 munitions and then the plus 10 fuel over here. And that's a good chunk of resources. If you can hold just that tiny little spot, you're in really good shape. Whereas in the north... The northern player usually has a much easier time grabbing this 10, this 10, and this 10 for a total of of 10 fuel and uh, 20 munitions. So the south has a bit of an advantage there, but that 16 is is easily uh, attackable too with all the buildings in it. Uh, So we'll see how this... And you can see that uh, they did a good job, uh, Complexity did a good job here, moving uh, Grenadiers to cap... While the Ketten Crab, which caps faster, went and capped the medium fuel point. Because the points that are uh, munitions and fuel take longer to cap than the strategic points. And the bigger they are, the medium and the, and the largest take, are faster, or, or rather, they take longer to cap than the others. All right, Rogers, we're getting into engineer and rifleman action here. You know, um, the interesting thing is, is that I really like to see when a player uses their engineers and their riflemen together... Um, in a in a one v one shooting match between rifles and PE, if they're both in good cover, the PE have a chance of winning. Um, but if you bring those engineers up, that's a little bit of firepower, and you can often fight off two squads, uh, two grenadier squads, if you have engineers with your rifles. It's it's very interesting. I I figured that out the hard way on a two v two that we were playing. Yeah, um, engineers just a, it gives you more hit points because if the enemy decides, oh, engineers, that's an easy thing to force to retreat. It just means your rifles are not getting shot. For that period right. of time, so even and they have it, the grease guns that can get in there and do that little bit of extra damage that really counts sometime in in the last seconds of battle. I like that pulling pulling the rifles back right next to the building here with the other grenadiers too. That was well done. Mm, that was that was good. Uh, it's interesting also as well for the fact that complexity went for a heavy fuel opening in terms of his capping order. He went for the five immediately, and then he went straight to the ten as you pointed out, and uh, he. Uh, connected the sectors with his first squad of Grens. So uh, we're going to see some heavy teching, or we're going to see like a lot of buildings out for the Panzer Elite here. It wouldn't surprise me at all. So Yes. Uh, flame grenades would work really well in this situation. Anytime you get the Americans, uh, or, or sorry, the Allies, because it could be anybody at the PE, you know, on the opposite side of cover from you, one flame grenade will force them out of cover, taking a lot of damage. 
Ooh, this is, uh, he's getting boxed in right here uh, by yeah. his strap point. And uh, good, good job with the Panzer Elite player. They're moving their units, they're keeping them sporadic, and they're they're also keeping them behind cover. And the Americans doing that as well, but the hay bale isn't that great of cover. It yeah, it's green cover, but you can't fit too many behind it, and exactly. it can be destroyed. That's a good point too. But uh, three three grenadier squads here, Panzer Grenadiers, are uh, pretty powerful, and uh, at long range, the riflemen can't really. Ex oh, wait a minute, we've got the Kettenkrad push. <laughs> It's oh going to take goodness. a lot of damage, but it's going <laughs> to force them out of the cover, and they're Look at that. Look at certainly going to lose this engagement now. Wow, that was just a little bit of extra push they needed, and two guys died instantly when they pushed him out of cover. Yeah, right over oh, here. Oh, man, he's going to get this strategy point here and cut off the American from all oh. his resources. Continuing, he's she's continuing to use the Ketten to push. Now, I mean, that is kind of a, I mean, it's, it's, it feels like a lame strategy because yeah, it's like but, what I, th that completely negates most of the normal mechanics in the game. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. So you might as well use it. It's not like something you can police. Nobody's going to play by your rules if you think it's lame. So we just got to live yeah. with it. That's a great, by the way, if you, if you're new to the game, this strat point is very important for the Northern player because as you can see now, 10, uh, 20 fuel and 20 munitions are now cut off from the allied player. He just lost a huge amount of income. Squirrely yeah. Wrath did. Um, and uh, now the Panzer Elite uh, complexity is like, yeah, okay, I've done I've done my job. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Go did back a to lot heal. of damage. I mean, that's a delay of tech. That's a delay of everything. I mean, he had to pull out a weapon support center uh, to try and uh, have some more uh, holding power on the field. Maybe MGs or even snipers would be good right now. Uh, to knock the PE units out and really start costing them a lot of manpower. Uh, he lost his Kenton, though, so that's yeah. going to hurt him in terms of the capping war, and the Americans are going to come back strong here. I mean, look at all these squads that are coming down. They're all going to cap all this map back in no time. I mean, it's... Yeah, and we've got actually... Wow, we jumped straight to the Panzer Jaeger. Didn't even build anything out of the Kampf Group of Company. Not a, not a mortar, not an infantry half-track, nothing. Just went straight for the Panzer Jaeger. We're probably going to see a fast armored car here. Armored car, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That would be really devastating right now, because I don't even think uh, the American player doesn't hasn't teched in terms of any of his rifle no. upgrades. No, the only thing that is going to be really useful is out of that weapon support center is the machine gun with the armor piercing can shred armored cars and light vehicles. Mm -hmm. So complexity is going to have to be really careful. Squirrely Wrath can really put the, the damage on if they can uh, pull that uh, armored car into the arc, the machine gun arc. Now, yeah, he's... I think uh, the American player here is a little bit timid, keeping all of his squads right next to each other there on the far left, allowing the, the right now to be recapped. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, you definitely need to have combat power fairly spread out in terms, but right now he's just trying to make a big comeback on the left. He's trying to take that 10 away from him, even though he's grabbing his on the right, so they're trading hands again. Very um, good retreat. Yeah. Some people will stay in there and be like, I just want to get a little bit more damage. Maybe I can get some experience. No. It's, it, in that situation, with yeah, three rifle no. squads and a flamer engineer, you're just going to get roasted. You want to get out of there as soon as you see that many people. Exactly. Um, the <laughs> the American player, excuse me, <clears throat> has uh, almost 120 fuel right now. Oh wow! The thing is, is he could really benefit from the supply yard upgrades because he's fallen into a little bit of a manpower sink upgrade because that big assault that pushed him off his strat that set him back big time in manpower because he had to reinforce every single squad he ha had. Yeah. So I think he really needs to go for a supply depot at least, and then he'll have some more options in terms of keeping more units on the field. So. All right. So. We've got the armored car out in the field, but now he know, uh, Complexity knows that there's a uh, a machine gun out there too. Oh man, that's close! Is that squad gonna make it out? Just got burned up in the house. Wow, yeah. There it goes. Happens. He made it out. So let's see. Here comes the armored car. Yep. Gonna do a little kiting. Machine gun just picked up. What is that? We've got airborne chosen from the Americans, looks like. Which is a great counter for armored car if, if he gets the recoilless. Ooh, is that? I think that's armor piercing. Look how fast that's going down. Wow, that is a uh... half damage already. It was like two bursts, yeah. maybe. Well, he was definitely ready oh, for that. Oh no! These units are gonna have to run all the way through the riflemen and the machine gun. Gonna make it? No, not. Here comes the armored car. Good timing, right as the machine gun was packing up. 
forces a retreat. Wow. Good kiting. Well done with this armored car, I think. Yeah, he's been doing a pretty good job with it. He needs to be very careful with it, though. Um, when those uh, recoilless rifles come up, that's going to be pretty brutal. He, he did upgrade yeah. him. His munition account just dropped. Yeah, there they are. Oh, no! Whoa! Oh, it's so close to being home free. There was one guy that just suddenly, hey, I forgot like, I, I had this in my back pocket. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just pulls it out and just instantly gets that engine hit on it and just blows it up. That sucks. That's... That's um, that's a very advantageous for the Allies. I don't yeah. know if we're seeing another armored car. Is he building anything else from the Panzer Jaeger? Uh, the... Yes, looks like she's got another armored car coming up. I have to say though, I would not have gone with an armored car like that. With 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 this much, you know, infantry on the field, I think. And uh, even though an armored car is a really good counter against infantry, with those recoilless out on the field, I think I would have gone with another MP44 squad myself. I love those guys. They're just machines. Murdering machines. They're not quite as good as a Knight's Cross, but they are a lot cheaper. Yeah, uh, MP44s is definitely what he needs now. And the American has, um, he's tailoring to his infantry build. What he's doing right now, he built his uh, casualty clearing. So his, or the his triage. triage. Yeah. So he's going to be getting the heals from that constantly. And then he's building a supply yard as well. So that's good. Oh, no, that can just another second would have maybe been enough to uh, decap that. But. Could have lost the cat. Oh, we've got a Scorched Earth chosen. Mm. Use the Ketten to uh, booby trap that uh, strap point there. This mm. is actually a really good map to use that on because mm. the buildings play such an important role. That's true. Hmm. Again, good yeah. harassment on the right hand side here. Panzer Grenadiers going up to try and decap that fuel. But again, that last time that happened, uh, she lost a squad with uh, with uh, Gewehrs on it, with Gewehr 43s. Yeah, that's uh, he's 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 going to decap the fuel, and I don't know if that's the best. I mean, I may go for a munitions point because he hasn't seen any vehicles. I mean, he could be going to a tank depot, but he's had the fuel cut off from him for so long or such a little income. Uh oh, Ooh, flames! I don't know. It looked like he was trying. To, <laughs> it looked like complexity was trying to lure those airborne into the Ooh. building that had been booby trapped. That would have been uh -oh. devastating. Yeah, that booby trap went off on the strap point, and it almost killed a rifle squad. Oh, really? He tried to I dodge it, it too, but side. he just couldn't make it. On the strap point on the far left? Uh, yeah, the booby trap one, uh, the strap point right uh -oh. outside of the... Is that machine base. gun going in the building? It is! Booby he trap has been driving. triggered. He has bars as well. Goodbye, other armored car. Wow. Boom. He went in the building. The MG is yep. down. MG is down. And wow, the bars got the, uh... Got the credit for killing that vehicle, not the recoilless, so they got the vet, which is... Also, the low-health squad that got flamed by that 10 right outside the, um, the allied base, Ooh. it went down on its retreat, so... Youch! Look at this, the charge of ages here. Mm. They're just running, they had, like, three squads, they all just ran away from double, full, full strength Panzer Grenadiers with MP44s. That's, that's oh. mean. Yeah, I mean, his fuel income, the American player's fuel income is zero. I mean, it's 10. It's plus 10. Yeah. He doesn't have any fuels. Plus 32 that, over here. That's crazy, man. I mean, <laughs> he's got a logistics company up. What the hell? <laughs> well, big squads of MP44s yeah. wouldn't be a bad idea about now. Yeah, that's that's true. So the Allied player just grabbed, uh, so it's got the supply yard. I can't. T I can't remember how you tell if it's got upgrades on it or not. It's if you got... If it's the got... gate swings open. Oh, it's the like gate. That. That's yeah. right. So the first gate swings open, and the second for the second one. Gotcha. I actually, do you know what I noticed the other day when we were doing the uh, oh, booby traps going up from the Ketten on the strap point here? There's another strap point. Wow. Didn't even uh, wait for the booby trap to trigger. It just knew that there was going to be booby traps over here. So clicked on Check it. Check out clicked the 10 across. in middle, middle, 10 in middle. It's got a booby trap on it. Oh, they nice. They dodged it. Yep. The American player doing a textbook dodge of the booby trap. If you trigger it, immediately run to the opposite side of it because where the 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 side of the point that you trigger it from is where the booby trap is going to go off. So if you quit instead of running away, which can get you killed, you run to the opposite side, the direction you're already going, and you'll uh, Just you'll start tend capping to, the yeah. Uh, yeah. He's getting the first supply yard upgrade at the moment, which is great. So he's going to have a lot more manpower because he's fallen into airborne. Typically, fall into a manpower sink um, because airborne their units are, are very expensive. expensive. 
Yeah. And uh, also, uh, he's only got a 241 manpower income right now, so he's hurting. Yeah, 241 is pretty low. It's about average for the American player. Mm -hmm. 294 for the German player, even with what's we got? One, two, three, three squads. That's right. Lost one way up here. Never replaced he, it, I guess. Yeah, he lost two. Oh, lost the uh, other one. That's right. That 10. So. They're using the wreck for, uh, they're having a little campfire on the wreck. Check that out. The, yeah. The armored car wreck. Adding insult to injury. Oh, man. These Panzer Grenadiers are about to get chewed up by get three bar squads. Two. But there's there's four of them, so that helps, I guess. <laughs> Needs the grenades. This would be a perfect time for the grenades. That flame grenade. It probably would be dodged, so it may not be a better, good idea there anyway. Ooh. We have an observation post deployed on the 10 outside of his base. Did the base Americans lose NAT. something on the left here? Uh, yeah. They, they were capping no. this fuel. Yeah, they were. Damn it. There was a squad there. Yeah, there was. <laughs> I don't even see any dead bodies, though. Yeah, that's. that's oh no, confusing. there it is. It's by the. It's by the strap point. I think they were retreating. I'm pretty sure that was a rifle squad. Oh yeah. Wow. It might have just been a, an engineer, but I'm pretty sure it was a. No, rifle No, it was squad. a rifle squad. That's a rifleman body. Wow. Interesting. Well, well you're awesome, by the way. All right, let's see. Um, MP44 is engaging bars, and they're running away, which is good. He's got defensive vet on him too, which is scary. Ooh. But look at this. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> see ya. We've got a Panzer Support Command. He hasn't actually built anything from these, except maybe the MP44 units. I think he's just getting all the infantry upgrades, maybe? Yeah, so he but can get Sprint. Sprint will save the day. Yes, vehicle. Sprint will save the day. But, uh, I mean, the, there's still no motor pool for the Americans, so, I mean, you don't need any of the armor. And the recoilless is, is going to be uh, pushing back your light armor anyway. If he tries to go for a tank depot strat, like in the end, it's he's not going to have the manpower for it, you know? I don't know. Well, I mean, you do have one, the one of the supply depot upgrades, which is going to help. We're not we're only 15 minutes in, so if this game goes for another half hour or so. Right. Oh, I like this mine placement in the middle, right on the mm -hmm. other side of that uh, oh, destroyed yeah. wreck. Yeah. That's a great spot for a mine. Yeah, he dodged another booby trap uh, by the strat by the middle VP, so that was good. He dodged the other side and yep. went around and decapped it. I mean, booby traps get a lot of flack because, you know, good players can just do that and dodge it, and then it's like, okay, well, what did I spend all that time for? Well, it but is it, free, though. It know? is free, and it does force your opponent to pay a little more attention because if they're busy somewhere else and they just send a unit to cap, yeah. then you might catch him. You might, you'll, you'll even catch a good player every once in a while. In a while. Mm. Sniper out. Yep, that's going to help a lot. It's going to really help cut down the squads faster than I know Complexity would want. That's going to be tough. Yeah, Sniper just hiding behind, uh, you know, a bulk of bars is going to be in just having fun, toasting around, killing everything. There, there you goes go. the There's first one. The enemy is attempting to seize a fuel point you know, you think they rate him as a 10 versus infantry, but hey. Yeah. <laughs> No, it only goes up to nine. The scale goes from uh, zero to nine. Yeah. There's only ten integers allowed. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I didn't even notice it. I guess the uh, the mine went off. The armored car's gone. <laughs> and there's a ha! big explosion. And there's... Oh, no, there are no bodies, but yeah, that hurt. I think that was uh, must have been earlier. I missed it. Okay, here come the MP44. Big push. I'm up the road, yeah. Yeah, nice slow use of the uh, the Gewehrs to, to kind of make them crawl out of cover. Because when I'm suppressed... You know, if there's fire coming down on me so that I can't do anything, the first thing I think about is crawling out of cover. Wow, if that squad would not have had the defensive veterans on it, it would have died on the retreat. That's crazy. He tried to push to the sniper, but he got bogged down. He couldn't do it. There's another squad with defensive vet that ran through everything that might get this. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, almost. Wow, the everyone got vet too? Sweet. Wow, everyone with vet? And tank depot is up. Ooh. He's only got uh, 70 fuel right now. We've got, we've got sector artillery up. How many munitions? 307. Quite a bit. It's enough for one use of it. And he's going to cut off the whole... No, he's not going to cut off the whole right because they don't have the middle. Man, if you put Sector on that strat outside the American space, that could be game, man. There it is. Yeah, he did. <laughs> there goes almost all of the engineers in one hit. Oh. That's so bad. Like, look, it covers that stretch. No, it doesn't cover the small stretch by the 10. That's weird. It's like the Sector's cut in half. You see that? Yeah. Adam? That's interesting. I wonder if that's a bug. I bet you that's a map bug. 
Yeah, it, it probably doesn't happen. I mean, it's just that tiny little thing there. But, I mean, look at that. He has no resources. I mean, yep, again. Oh, my goodness. He really needs to put a booby trap on that on that strat. That would Ooh, be even more I think, what was the, What had just died on the right here? It was, uh... Is that an engineer? Rifleman squad. It was a rifle squad? Really? Yep. It's rifleman bodies and no retreating squad. Yeah, it didn't squad. look like an engineer to me. I just didn't think another rifle would have died. Yeah. So, that means... One, two rifles out on the field right now. And yeah, neither of them have vet. So that was the vet squad, or the other one was. Yeah, he's um he's lost two rifle squads, but Complexity also lost two grenadier squads. So, I mean, they're fairly even on terms of... With, uh, with uh, Squirrely losing a little bit more manpower in terms of the disadvantage of having rifle squads being more expensive. Man, these booby traps... I mean, they're really helping this. Uh, they're they're helping complexity keep the game. I mean, they're so deadly right now. It's they're they're doing a great job uh -oh. of distracting. The this player. building also has it. Yeah, distracting the player. Sure. Yeah. I thought they were gonna run in that building there, but yeah. But because these buildings can be key, a lot of the battles take place around the building, and jumping in the building can get you some really. <laughs> they went around to the road and said, "Oh, too much. Run away." Yeah. Run away. <laughs> we're good. The, uh, yeah, but I mean, that the fact that sometimes these buildings in the right and the left here can, can just play such an important role in the outcome of an infantry battle, the fact that the American player cannot go in one without risking death. I mean, he lost 200 manpower, you know, I mean, 240 manpower for that. The, so the machine gun, yeah. Ooh. Wow, Even though he dodged, he dodged it. it, it still got a couple of guys. Oh, That's... Sector! And also got a couple of guys. <laughs> how, no, how was that Sector, though? I mean, we... Oh, no, he popped it. He popped it again. Yeah, just as it cooled down, I think. Oh, it's got, my like, God. a 130-second cooldown. So evil. Well, we have a Sherman coming out now, so that's going to be brutal. Ooh, yeah. The, what do the Germans have here? They, have no they don't have any counter. I don't think they I mean, have... They have all the options available to them under the sun, but they don't have counter. Not they on the field, them. no. But he's got 500... Wait a minute. We've got Panther Battle Group available. What? It just popped up here. Are you kidding me? He went for a fast tech to that? He got I think so. Oh, my God. And here comes the first Sherman. <laughs> You're going to be a little late, buddy. <laughs> oh He's rolling out on the field. They're still He's holding on to this strap point. And look, they've capped most of the right-hand side, too. Wow. Capped just about, except for the left. So, I mean... I didn't know that you could pop sector on neutral um, territories, but apparently you can. Yep. And these guys running, they got chased down the road. I like that the cat like is still running pop around. Sector in your base. That's stupid. You really should be able to. Hmm. I'm not really happy that the Sherman is not pushing its advantage right no, now. It's just parked. It's parked. He got the 50 cal upgrade on it, and they're just resting. I don't know oh. if they're worried that there's something waiting for them in the fog of war, like a like a um, a martyr or something. Well, I mean, but, at the same time, I think they would be aware of that because of the fact that they've been probing everywhere on this map. Both sides have been probing the crap out of each other's map control. I know. And, uh, and uh, Squirrely has not seen any anti-tank at all. I mean, I mean that is that is the catch-22, though. Oh, we have 987 manpower here. We are almost at Panther Battle Group time. There it is. Get out. Oh, my God. There they are. And there goes that fence. <laughs> and there goes a tree and a tree. And tank traps are gone as well. Wait, Heavy Crush kills tank traps? Yeah. I didn't know Panther had Heavy Crush, though. Did they they changed that at some oh, point, didn't they? No, yeah, it's they, had Heavy Crush for uh, for really? at least two patches, yeah. Yeah, but I did. they did change it in one of the patches, if I recall correctly. I believe it did not have it originally. It was just the Tiger and the Pershing. Yeah, they did that because the Tiger was a doctrinal specific way to get rid of tank, tra uh, tank traps. And, right. uh, and also The Americans had demolitions. That's right. I remember that. As well, I mean, you have the Goliath, but that's not very effective. And nope. it's, the cost-benefit ratio is terrible. So... Just dropped an AT gun in the back there. That's going to help. I mean, it has 400 manpower, so we're going to see some bombing runs, I wouldn't doubt. Oh, yeah. Bombing run versus Panther. Jeez, deja vu, anybody? Oh, Ooh, God. A double defensive vet. 
Yeah, I'm... against a tank? Sorry, not gonna win. Yeah, but he's going after the AT gun, I think, so that he can charge mm -hmm. it. Oh, nice. Machine gun covering the AT gun. Wow. Swiveling. Okay, here we go. And here come the Panthers from the side. Oh. And they weren't able to do any damage to the AT gun. So the Panthers have to back off. Yep. Sticky to look at that. Chased by the recoilless. Damage engine. Oh, he's got Panzer Grenadiers right there. I mean, that's one of the great things about having the Panthers on the PE is whenever you take some damage, you've got a squad of something that can heal it. True. If we don't see Sprint in this game, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Sprint is awesome. It's so useful. The, uh, I hope that uh, she's got the Panzer... Panzer Grenadier upgrade. What is it from the Panzer Jaeger command that gives the fast? Uh, it looked like it went really fast. The fast repair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Feldcraft. Yeah, Fieldcraft. That's what it is. Um, and then let's see. Uh, I'd like to see him get flame grenades too, because if you had dropped a flame yeah. grenade on an AT gun, it wouldn't have been able to shoot. It would have had to move or die. Yep. Two AT guns back here. No, never mind. That's still the same one. It's just over in the base now. Panther has one kill. The other one has one kill also. They've been shooting at infantry for a long ass time. He's got a tank trap kill too, so yeah. that's be frowned upon. Oh, where's this one going? I don't know, it's probing. I like the hydraulics when it goes over bumps sometimes. They go wha -chum, wha -chum, yep. wha -chum. That was great. A really low health squad here on the left hand side. They're just sitting out here in the open kind of frightened. They're vet too, so they, they're gonna die here if he doesn't retreat. There he goes to retreat. I think that they're gonna make it. Yeah, they will. Got guys left. So the Americans are still... They've got no access to fuel right now. They've got one Sherman. What are they on for manpower? Uh, they are on Ooh. plus a two... Wow. Plus a 253 upgrade for... Or, uh, plus a 250... No, no, it's 249... 247 manpower income. Uh, 32 fuel and 10... Or no, uh, 10 fuel and 32 munitions income per minute. So fuel, I mean, they are just SOL, and seeing as he has a tank depot, he has 153 fuel. But uh, that's enough for another Sherman or Croc. You know, I think he could just use the Airborne to kill the Panthers, because I think by the time the Panthers kill one guy, he could reinforce it from the air. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> but two Panthers, that might be enough. Uh, they've got six kills together. They've been fighting yeah. on the field for like three minutes now. They've managed to kill six <laughs> infantry. Hooray! It's not terrible. But it's certainly not worth a thousand manpower. I think you could kill six infantry with a single Panzer Grenadier squad right now <laughs> with uh, MP44s. Ketten's captains. Uh, There's no way to get vet on a Ketten. I'd like it to run fried faster. Oh, I get no. It can share, can't it? It can share yeah, the kills it, it of the can, units I've around seen, it. Um... I've seen Ketten grads with Give it offensive, defensive vet. veterancy. <laughs> uh, offensive vet defensive. should make it faster, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, defensive vet, and then I've also seen a burger tiger with vet 3 defensive vet. Oh, wow, really? Ooh, that squad is oh! dead. It never dies, by the way. Look at that crater he created. Look what at that. What is that? It's like, like you lay down some like concrete? It's like a mushroom, like a mushroom cloud went off. Like, what the hell? I don't know. That's the first time I've ever seen that texture, wasn't, Bridger. Yeah, wasn't game. that a defensive? Vet squad too? I mean, how did the Sherman eliminate it that damn fast? There was a mine. There was a mine. Oh, there was a mine. Walked into the mine and they died. That makes a lot more sense now. Uh oh. oh AT guns hit. from two directions. The Sherman's like, you can't get me. Sherman's wow, staying in the game. And bombing runs coming in. Where is it? What? Okay. I don't think what? that was a bomb. Oh no, it was a strafe? What? Oh, he was going after the units that were chasing the AT gun. Yeah, on the top right there. There goes one. And defensive vet on that panther that killed the Sherman. This other Sherman, this other panther has been shooting the whole time. Still hasn't killed another infantry yet. <laughs> oh, defense that squad died by the 10. The flame engineers have just got to that. Where they, were, they were going after the uh, AT gun, remember? Yep. That's no, that's it. difficult. That's no, uh, down. Uh, complexity's down to just three Panzer Grenadiers. How how are they doing in uh, resources? Uh, two sixty five manpower. Now two sixty. Mm. And uh, plus forty eight uh, munitions, plus thirty two fuel. 
decent amount of uh, munitions, but uh, spent 200 on that uh, plus 10 sector just to force the AT gun to back up a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was worth it, but uh, I don't certainly think it didn't. was. He was trying Ooh. to delay more tanks coming out on the field. That's what. Every once in a while, the Panther will get a direct hit on somebody, and the body just gets gibbed. Mm -hmm. But that's what it, it's like. It doesn't have any radius because all it's got is anti anti uh, armor. Oh, armor, I keep forgetting. Rounds. I keep forgetting that airborne doesn't need map control. They they have supply drops. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh about yeah, that. there they are in the base there. So he's not worried at all. And the magically appearing, disappearing, phase shifting Sherman. Strafe coming out. in. Oh wow, that was pretty brutal. Strafe the guys on the left that were making a charge. Yeah. I really think that Strafe has been balanced out pretty well. The pin lasts so long. Yeah. That uh, I think it, it's good. I think it's good. It has its its uses now. So let's take a look at the scores here. Pretty even. Panzer Elite just about to shift back in the middle here. Yeah. Ooh, the, they uh, scorched the VP in the middle. Really? Ooh, the enemy is they broke it. Look, territory. it's all it's all sad. Yeah. If I can't have it, no one will. Exactly. I've never really seen that particular aspect of it used very much. Look at the range on this Panther, though. They're just awesome. Wow, he still tried to fire like half a screen away. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, we have something coming out of the Panzer uh, Support Command. What? What is that, Bridger? Oh, he's getting uh, the Veteran Sergeant upgrade? So that lets him get vet veterans, faster, see? yeah. And he needs that since he lost that uh, double defensive vet MP44 squad. That sucks. Yeah. I like that the, the both Panthers were down to like half or a quarter health. I like the one on the right is rebuilt, and the one on the left is getting healed by two squads. You must have um, upgraded. Which we call Ooh, another! Wow. But that's gonna save the AT gun. It's got mm -hmm. enough time now for the machine gun to get in position. That is awesome use of strafe. I mean, that's perfect delay until he can get more units into the field. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sherman could pick up, pick, finish off this Panther, maybe. No, he's not gonna chance it. Unless, he, if he had the upgraded gun, it might have been worth to chase it. But without mm -hmm. the upgraded gun, he can't, you can't count on those shells penetrating the front of the Panther armor. Ha! Uh, airborne with uh, gas masks and, uh, like, uh... <laughs> look at that, you see it? I see it. They're repairing the middle point from they the scorch. They look like uh, Splinter Cell guys, kind of, from the top. <laughs> look out, goggles. they're gonna get you. That's Store cool. them in their bag of holding with all the other shit that they just pull yeah. out of there. No weight limit. <laughs> Indeed. Panther Panzer. Mm. Uh oh, oh Ken with a sticky. sticky. On the <laughs> That's great. Oh, oh man, I didn't know it took it out in one shot. That was a violent explosion. That driver just slumped forward. Yeah. Oh, okay. That looks painful. Yeah, complexity needs more infantry killing power. But, I mean, right now, the American has such a great assortment of units. I mean, look at the field. Yeah. Snipers, machine guns, recoilless rifles, Sherman roving around. That's a that's a hard thing to crack, man. Yeah. I mean, uh, the only thing I think of is is needs to be able to kill that, that machine gun there. Or hit the AT guns and the machine guns from a long range. So, I'm thinking mortar, half-track, but its range Himmel. is kind of... A Hummel, yeah. Hummel would be good. Mm -hmm. Because he's going that side since he scorched the VP. Yeah. <clears throat> a mortar half track it is. Mm. Well, that'll do some good. But it can get one uh -oh. shot by an <laughs> Oh! What Another happened? sector. That's like 200 munitions to completely, you know, make, make it unenterable. Yeah. For a good portion of time. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's sector. Actually, you know what? It is a good sector because they have to walk through it unless they go through their base, unless yeah. they want to get by it. So that's good. I didn't think it went up that far. Oh, that AT gun might get gibbed by sector if there's one. Uh, if German artillery command is feeling risque. Let's see. The AT Do they gun have booby traps in the buildings oh, again, Bridger now, on the right? Uh, no, I don't see him. Hmm. Didn't get to put those in there. We are losing a sector. But you only have to put it in once <laughs> to make your opponent hesitate. 
And after that, it's like, I don't want to use buildings anymore. Okay, now this panther's got nine infantry kills. You just have to stand in front of it, not moving for a while. And yeah. then... <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll get kills. He's got okay. another Ketten. Just queued up another Sherman. We have 200 points. Defensive vet on the Panther on the left. I like mm. seeing that. I like offensive vet because they just murder everything. Yeah, they've got really good defenses to begin with. Offensive vet might give... The, I think it gives uh, accuracy bonuses and penetration bonuses to tanks. I have to relook yeah. that up. But accuracy bonuses would definitely help kill the infantry. Yeah, that texture is so weird. I don't understand what that it hell is. happened. I think it's like you're someone right. dump, dumped ash all over the ground, you know that, what I mean? That or it's like you're saying, like a nuke that just like glassed the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, rifles are getting really close to that sector that's that's popped. Yeah. Well, he needs to be they went back. Oh, look how the kettens just parked. They're like, I can go over here, but you can't. <laughs> like an ass. Yeah. Oh, miss some more. God. Whoa, that was a big boom. What the shit was that? Whoa. He just hit uh, the AT Ooh, gun. Yeah. Incendiary round. Nice. Oh, sniper saves the day. Man. Mm. The American player, Squirrely Wrath, is just keeping those AT guns alive all the time. Like, they have been charged, what, at least four or five or six times now. It's always One been straight for been. something else that chases them off. Wow. Yep. I'm impressed. Jeez. The Americans on the left, though, haven't even dented this panther. They've been trying to get close enough for a sticky. Uh-oh. What happened to the AT gun? It went down. Um, we have eliminated the enemy once more. Wait a minute. No, it didn't. It went back to base to heal. Ha! Oh, that's awesome. The other's facing the wrong direction because it was going after that. Oh, a mine! Go. Nicely done. Mines can be... What? What? Because oh! the bomb, oh my god. That one shot hit both of them for almost full damage, but double defensive gone! No! Oh no! That AT oh, gun just got double double uh double, double vet. Holy crap, that was huge. Bridger, that yeah. was huge. Okay, they did kill a Sherman, right? Yeah. But lost one Panther, a Kettengrad. And that panther was double defensive vet. It was. That was brutal. This one might go down too. Oh no! Recoilers sure. did some too much damage to it. The American army's like, hey, come back here. We're not done with you yet. No, I would have totally chased that down with the Sherman right there. It's got a sliver. You did not let that get away. It doesn't have vet yet either. One more kill and it will have vet, so make it harder to kill. Yeah, it's in the 12 infantry kills. Oh, we have a Humal! We do! The victory point in the middle. Wow, German artillery, that totally changes the dynamic of the game, because now he can knock out AT guns with ease. Yes. Ha <laughs> there goes that engineer team. Yeah. There they, now you see them? No, you don't. Yeah, remember, engineers take extra damage when they're repairing things, and uh, I, that applies to pioneers as well. I'm not sure if it applies to panzer grenadiers. We got a Hellcat on the field. What the hell? Why does the Hummel have a tank kill? What in the world? That's... Do you see that? Yeah, it was only shooting at the engineers, I thought. It's only been here for like a couple seconds, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it killed a... Like a wreck? Like the Kettenkrad wreck or something? Derp. Derp. What did I miss? What was derping? Or strafe um, that pushed another squad, oh. two squads off. Hmm. A lot of manpower. Now he has too much manpower. He has both supply yard upgrades, so he's got a 266 income per minute. I like how the the panther crushed the uh, the hedges outside the base, so they can just walk right out. Yeah. Nice little entrance. <laughs> and and, and they don't there. have to worry about enemies coming in because the uh, the flakverlings can still <laughs> can still shoot 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. They're blocked by the buildings though, so they may not. It's true. Fire. Just wait. Hummel's firing again. Oh, right on those infantry? And they're slowed. No, oh, went, went too, too high. Oh, they fired him up. Slow this. Yeah. Oh, no! Panzer in grenadiers! The MP44s. <laughs> <laughs> Fired up into MP44s. Run away from one thing and into another. Oh, oh, oh that guy! The bears made it out! Look at the sniper. He's running. He's vet three. 
Vet 3 Sniper? Really? I can't click on him. There he is. Damn, he's got 21 kills? Holy... They're AT grenading it, and now one squad is almost dead. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Oh, this panther just ran into a bad place. It Well, yeah, but the critical hit from the Hellcat missed. Oh, or no, it still. hit, but it didn't penetrate. Two Shermans. Ooh. It, it, oh, my God. This is bad. terrible. That, that thing is gone. Chase that thing. You do not let that out of your sight. You don't back up with the Sherman. Attack with it. Oh, come on. They could have taken that out. That's not I, easily I, replaceable. He doesn't need to take it out right now, I don't think. He could have chased it with the full-strength Sherman and with the Hellcat. That's he could have done mistake. that, but he could um, I don't know. Backing up a Panther's armor with defensive vet is still a very formidable foe. Yeah, and he did have the run advantage on him, so he would have never been able to flank around him. Hellcat doesn't need to flank, though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Hellcat has lower penetration than a M10, but it has that cloak thing, and I think it does, um, you know, certainly more penetration than a Sherman still. I think it might be a little faster, too. I don't remember which... I have to go no, back. No, no, it's... The, uh, the M18 is much slower. Um, this M18 is slower, but it has... It has extra stuff. penetration on the critical strike. Yeah. I think it has better frontal penetration de by default as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Either that or it's, like, more... Um, it does more I never use the damn thing. I'm trying to get used to all the new all the units since the patch before the TOV units get factored in. Yeah, I don't like um, I don't like the M18. It's too slow and it can't run over infantry. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Everybody should be forced to use it. Yeah, that's how you balance the M10. You disable it from the game. Exactly. Uh oh, MP44 charge in the middle. He's gonna strafe him again. No, he doesn't need to. It's not. It's not. Wouldn't save him there. I don't think. Uh oh. You got Panther enough. rebuilt. Oh man, look at the long range on that thing. Rear you shot of Sherman. The Ooh, you can AT grenade that Sherman right now. They did. But they it was did. Moving. They missed both times. That was awesome. Oh, we got a squad coming over from the right, but it's getting harassed by tanks. I mean, this is just getting difficult for complexity right now. Still holding the two VPs though. Has a mortar half track still there in the middle. Yep. That has one a sounding kill. Yeah. That sniper. Another sniper just made it to the field. Well, if oh. one can get to Vet 3, two should be devastating. Oh my god, that would be... How's the American player on uh, munitions? Uh, plus 32 with a 155 in the bank. And he's got 400 manpower and 36 fuel. Building, He's building a Sherman upgrade. The 76 mil gun. There we go. Ow. It's about time. Probably could have finished off. I mean, because that Panther, even though technically it only costs 500, it's hard to replace it because you need a thousand in order to get two. You can't buy just one. Yeah. Your hands are elite. Yeah, you can't go into the Wehrmacht armory and be like, I would like to part of this, you. <laughs> no. You either get your requisition forms sent in to Department B, or you don't get anything. Someone, for some reason, uh, Vermont Armory is being commanded by an American. Hey, they'll fix that in post. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Hummel has not hit anything since it killed that Ooh. engineer team. I think. Okay. Really? Yeah. He's been missing a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, you're right. Four and one. He hasn't. He. The thing about the American player they're doing very well is they. Uh, they haven't. They've been keeping moving their units around, so it's really hard for complexity to hit accurately with the Humal. Yeah. As soon as the Humal hit the field, AT gun was no longer important, but the Hellcat was. You see that? Yeah. Squirrely immediately switched out for ooh, a Hellcat. Ooh, okay. Okay. The Germans are pissed now. They're coming in with MP44s to kill these damn. Oh snipers. yeah. Gonna get one. Oh, uh, no, they're not! Oh, wow! No, they're still shooting at it! Yes, they got it! Oh. That was the triple vet, too, wasn't it? Nope, the other one's still in the base with 28 kills. <laughs> I was typing ass. <laughs> ass. <laughs> you know what? Now what Complexity could do is humil the base and he killed the sniper. Because That's it retreated. true. But no, it left the base already. He's too smart for that. 
Because here comes the artillery. Yeah. Oh! It came a sniper! Oh! He said what I kill. He saw an infantry kill. The first shell killed it. Wow. I hope it was sniper. Your mom. <laughs> Just like you said. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, oh my man. god, that was amazing. Vet 3 Sniper, good night. You just ate like a 150 millimeter shell. And I like how it still looks like it's cloaked, like the body looks like it's just crawling. Yeah. Oh, it just gave up <laughs> and, and laid down. It's I'm gonna the phase shifting uh, technology that the yeah. Americans are privy to. Yeah, like the, like, just like the, uh, the Hellcat. I like, they, they must have like thrown some grass on top of it and go, yeah, that's good. <laughs> That'd be funny if if it was actually covering grass, and every time you moved it, the cover would just disappear. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I'm thinking too much about something that doesn't exist. How are the, these Shermans are completely missing? Oh, disabled it! Wow, there you go. Ooh, I didn't realize the point disabling uh -oh, the point uh -oh. was very fast. Middle's gonna get broken, and see, he's trying to run over, but he's like, wait a minute, I don't have an M10. Oh! Wait, did that kill a squad? Another squad goes down <laughs> to Sherman. Two squads. Wow, that's a big, <laughs> big loss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. Oh that's no, two, two Hummels three. on the field though. I'm not sure that was a good plan. Okay, the fact that this Panther just ran in there, he's like, maybe the, f oh my God, did you see the flying engineer? <laughs> he just did a car in the air. God, the Hummel really freaking hates engineers. I'll be very honest Jeez. with you. Jeez, two of them though. Yeah, two Hummels. The, uh, Oh, there goes that tractor. Fuck that tractor. <laughs> Panther is just not giving up. Panther needs to leave. Panther is not going to survive. Panther's waiting. Saying, no, oh, I want that Sherman. On that. He's trying to kill the airplane. Perfect. That'll cover the Panther, no question. And all the tanks are like, whoa, did you see the uh, the M18 practically flip on one side as it did no. a sharp turn? <laughs> I missed that. Ooh, he's trying to get some rear shots, and he could actually kill one of these shirts. Oh, man! Pepper. She's all in! Pause it. Pause your Sherman. I mean, stop it. <laughs> stop the Sherman. Or the, not the Sherman, but the Panther. God, I can't even know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh -oh. Is the sniper going to go plant a demo charge on it or something? Is it worth? There's an no, M18 no, no, right no. there. Oh, she could have got the M18, though. It was so dead. Uh-uh. 470 manpower could be saving up for another set of Panthers here. What's on the field now, though? Only yeah, two infantry, three infantry squads. Sorry, three infantry squads. Okay, plus uh, oh, the Hummels. Nice. Scorch the North. Look at that. Scorch the North VP. Perfect. Yep. That's gonna let her get back in the game. 131 to 178. Hummels firing right outside the American ramp. The Hellcat just can't get repaired. Let's <laughs> keep moving. I'm surprised these engineers haven't quit yet. They're like, those shells are aimed at engineers. Yes. What do these Hummels have for kills now? One's got defensive vet. 11 and 2. Two tank kills. So stupid offensive. What else did it kill shit. that was a tank? So stupid. There's one panther shell. There's the other panther shell. I don't see any other tanks that it killed. Oh, well. I think the game is confused. It might be. Engineers, those are those are vehicles, right? I'm just gonna chalk that up as a vehicle, because my, my 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 superior officer will be impressed. Yeah, he killed enough engineers to man a Sherman. I think that's what he was trying to get. <laughs> they were tank crew. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that mortar half track, man. One kill. Look at that. It's finally gonna earn its keep. Fire. Defend the center VP. Oh, you took too long. Never mind. What? Uh. Oh. Nice. Oh wait, it did nothing. What the hell? Oh, that's why it was a uh, uh, incendiary. Shell. It was a fire sale. The humans firing on the VP in the north. They really want to keep that out of their hands. This is gonna kill us. So God, we ah! oh. recoilless rifles. <laughs> they just GTFO. No repair for you. Nope, none. None to speak of. And another sniper out. So that's two. Almost time for more Panther parties. Two Panthers could rush the middle, though. Uh, I don't know if they could break it, though. They could hit it, but they with AP rounds firing in the back and M18, two Shermans in the front holding them off. Oh, I didn't see it. the AT gun back there, too. Yeah. That's the one that killed the last Panther. It's got double vet now. 
Yep, it's only killed one thing. But it's really good at killing that one thing. Did you guys see that, that panther I killed? That was awesome. He's a, ooh. Supply Where's this dogs. Hummel landing? Again on the VP in the They're north. Yeah, he's keeping it out of their hands. He's, I think he staggered it out so he can fire one while the other's on cooldown, et cetera, et cetera. Two snipers again on the field. Panthers are rushing the middle without infantry support. Infantry's taking the VP, that's why. She's just trying to keep the ticker going down. And see, the AT gun was too far back. The Panthers got smart. They stayed just at their extreme range to take out the uh, Shermans. It's moving up. It's moving up. And we popped AP on it. Oh, Hellcat's in big trouble. Yeah, back up. These Recoilless rifles are being a great job of being assholes. Yeah. They just keep the Panthers off. Like, what is it, uh, 375 plus 150 uh, munitions upgraded yep. squad can scare off a thousand manpower? <laughs> that oh. makes sense. Hummel's trying to go after the tanks now to legitimately earn those two tank kills. Yeah. Wow. That Although, the, uh, those airborne, right? Those have been in the game the whole time, haven't they? Have they? I don't know if uh, Squirrely had to replace those. Good reinforcement, heal them a bunch, but Ooh. okay. We got a lot of low health tanks flanking the far left. They're gonna get this mortar half track with one kill. Yeah. With only points, Boom! One, two, three. I love how the mortar half track is like looking at the tanks, like I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I've got a shell. Staring down, having a staring competition. The enemy advances. Fifty munitions to engage. Fritz, stare mode. do you think yep. you can hit the top of that M18? It's open. I'll try, but oh, he's dead. Panther crush enabled. Come on. Go the other way. <laughs> sandwich. They're trying to push him so that they can't cap the VP. The sandwich. The North VP is still broken. At this point, it might be wise to just sacrifice an engineer squad to repair the damn thing. Oh, shit ton of flame grenades on that AT gun. Yeah. They killed one of them already. Uh, that Screw. one just went right through the fire and came out the other side unburned. <laughs> There's some kind of Enya song in there. But, uh... Either that or they're part of House Targaryen. <laughs> oh, nice Hummel finally got a legitimate kill. Oh my god, an M18 and more engineers have fallen. Yep. <laughs> Blast the corpse halfway across the map. It's, 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 it's the little things though. It's like when I'm playing and I lose like a tank or something, I'm like, yeah, that's the cost of doing business. But when I lose my engineers and then I hit the hotkey, later on to go and like repair something and I go shit I forgot I lost those fuckers god damn it I hate losing <laughs> engineers <laughs> yeah, oh they're scorching the point again no they were laying booby traps never mind I think they succeeded in doing that though but here comes the Sherman mob he really needs to repair those Shermans up oh, finally oh. capping oh. the north I almost think armor would have really uh, done the game for him here get a uh, Pershing yeah, Pershing, and he'd have crew repair vehicles. He'd had, uh, he would have a uh, Allied war machine. So he'd probably have about four Shermans on the field right now, theoretically. So there's one rifle squad on the field now. <laughs> What's his uh, manpower income? Uh, plus 253. He built another M18. He's doing that now. And he's got the um, supply yard yeah. upgrade all the way. He's got both of them. So they both have They're increased... Using sprint. They're using Sprint! Ooh! They're sprinting into the sh the high explosive shells of Sherman tanks. I don't think I'm that not was sure hard. that's. I don't think that's the way you use sprint. Normal <laughs> again. It's like let me check the users manual. Yes, do not run straight into enemy tank guns. Whoa, main gun destroyed on a Sherman. Wow. It's all backing up. Sad. No. Sad elephant gun. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to a happy elephant. Ah, uh, yes. Happy for everyone but the elephant. That'd be cool if they had the elephant in this game, the elephant tank. That thing was a beast. The Ferdinand, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or the Mouse. The mill gun. Yeah, that thing was nuts. The Mouse would be like armor. twice the size of a Hellcat. Yeah. You can call that in for 50 munitions, you know. <laughs> It'd be the worst version of the King Tiger. <laughs> Yeah. It goes at half the speed and has twice as much armor and does half as much damage. Every time it fires, it kills a friendly unit. That's all it No, it do. fires once every 12 seconds and kills one thing. Like, yep, you got one infantry there. Good job, buddy. 
Man, this VP game has come down to... Really? Very, yeah. Look at all these MP44s. I mean, and that airborne squad surviving all that crap? Oh, maybe not. They're all Stuck. bugged out. Look at that. What is this? Bombing run. Bombing run? Bombing run. Oh! Wow! Killed the squad and the main gun destroyed. That's done. That's two, done! It killed two squads. Again. Two squads. Holy cow! Look at that! They just go Panther. up! The Panther's all sad. <laughs> and the Panther goes down for all the way to, to split. I can't believe it's getting out of that! It's gone! There it goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it didn't crash into the mortar's body. It crushed it and then said, I'm sitting here. This is my <laughs> grave. <laughs> Very violent game of musical chairs. In yeah. Music. My grave. Get out. And he just destroyed the M18 in his payback with his other version. Yeah. Sure. That, was, that was definitely an equal trade. I mean, a, a good trade for the Americans, though. M18's nothing to a per pa panther. Yeah, I'm forgetting tank names now, so this is not What's, okay. uh, so we've got one infantry squad, a brand new Panzer Grenadier with MP44s just made it onto the field. Where are these shells falling? You just firing uh, the base, the base ramp, and it just blew up an AT gun shell, I believe. Yeah, it did. The it old did. one, right? Yeah. The one that was manned by the double vet crew. So what's going to happen now? The middle is still controlled. Only 25 victory points. This could just end with the Panther watching the middle. Where's the allied, uh, that's, that's, I mean, the super airborne that have survived everything always. Get them in they there. They almost didn't survive that last engagement, so they're reinforcing and coming back now. Fire but up and get to the, the damn point. He killed a sniper, the sniper? With a Wow! Talk about your counter snipe. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, 19 points. Thing. Taking the middle. Pop sector. No, not enough munitions. Hummels are about as good as you can get. Hummels are firing. And that sector's destroyed too. I didn't notice that. Ooh. That that way that uh, complexity can continuously pop sector on there. Come on, the Hummel can like spit down the road and hit them, but it's not. Yeah, it's missing all the time. Ow. AT gun. Oh, Panther on the right in big trouble. It's gonna stay to kill that. Oh. Was that another Hummel shell? Yeah. That's a Hummel shell that killed an M18. Uh -oh. uh oh! Panther could finish this in one shot! Do it! It's turning too fast! No! Main gun destroyed! Oh gun. no! Some pings could save it. And the building's in the way! Crush those engineers! Crush them! <laughs> I like, did you like the one guy on the left who just sporadically turned, fired a little bit? I was like, wait, bad idea. And like, <laughs> I don't want to make that thing angry. I can't believe he's going to maybe get out of here. Oh, it turned the wrong way. But he got the left VP. They got the left VP. Oh, wow. They re the center, but the left is gone. Not enough infantry anymore. There they go. They're going to kill this rifle squad. It's going to be done. There it is. Drop some bars. Get the bar. Strafe coming in. There it is. Oh, oh, it missed him. Thought they were gonna go back through I the middle. I saw it directly hit one man, and he was like, "Yeah, that wasn't. That didn't feel that bad." All right, looks like complexity. As long as she can hold this center, she's gonna be winning this game. But can she? That's the question. She's got Sherman. He's got Shermans over there, and. Uh, but where's the infantry? Oh, A the sniper. Shermans are going after the Hummels. Ooh, I was just gonna say the Hummels, the Hummels, they would uh, lock down that center for him. Oh, actually, he's just going to play uh, hide behind the buildings in the base. Hey, they've got defensive vet on him. Triple defensive vet on one of those Hummels. I really oh, man, the sniper's capping. The sniper's done. Instead, it's engineers. I would have yeah. done that, too, though. I would have yeah. used the sniper for that. You just needed to, to stop. You, you got to. You're, you're about to lose. 14 VPs, and they've got the middle again, potentially. <laughs> Ring around the Panzer Elite base. It's <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. Major battle. Complexity in saving up to get more Panthers. How is he doing on? How is she doing on munitions right now? 129. Not enough for sector. Nine. We're down to nine. Boom! Boom! Oh no! Eight VPs. That Hummel stopped. And said, "I will give my life for the for the cause." You know and why? fired. Because they were engineers. That's it's, why. yes, exactly. I hate engineers. 
<laughs> that Hummel is done now because wow, it stopped playing Ring Around the Rosie. Vet. Triple Vet Sherman. Wow, it's, it's almost dead too. Horrible. Because Pan it's just it is dead. Engaged. Oh no, but they had another section of engineers. Shit, here comes another Panzer battle group. What the fuck? <laughs> that Hummel's like, in trouble too. God, he needs more infantry. Your your Panthers can't cap. What are you doing? <laughs> Damn it! This is insane. You only need one. Oh, the one. Sherman's gone. Yeah. I would have tried to save that. I mean, I guess uh, I guess he did, but... He didn't know that there were Panthers coming, so... I think he did. I thought that's why he went that way. I didn't notice whether he saw it in the fog of war. No, he was going for the second Hummel that was firing. <laughs> nice greedy, snipe there. That Panther with the Sherman and with one kill from the uh, Airborne just got defensive vet. That, uh, that Airborne squad with the AT gun next to the M18 carcass has been reborn in metal and fire... Because he's, he's inside the tank. He's somehow he's face shifting in. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Do you like my camouflage? Oh jeez. About to die. Yeah. Move oh, forward, men. I know that's where the Panthers are. That's your job. <laughs> oh, right into a shell. Very close. Another one, direct hit. Wow. Oh man. That airborne man. really lived up to jump school. You know what? He just, he just. Oh man, I'm loving these direct shots. But oh. There were two others waiting! I think he thought, oh, yep, I just got rid of the only anti-armor except for the Sherman. That ain't quite true. Damn. He's gonna get this triple vet Sherman, though. He doesn't have any infantry, though. Oh, no, he does. He's capping the right. Oh! Three VPs, the right is going. Come on, Sherman. You have to try and tell it. No, no, you must. Oh, back and around, back and around. Oh, that squad's gonna just get out of there, dude. Oh, it's get trapped. He can't look. It's dancing and it's dead. Wow, that was like that moment in Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> All the AT guns are both gonna try to fire on the Ket and Grad at middle. Can they do it before it's too late? Ah, oh, no, they missed. No, they hit the VP instead. No. Uh oh, here comes. Can you see through the smoke? It's capping. It's capping. It's at half. Oh my God. AT guns. Oh. There it is. Oh man, this is nerve wracking. Insane, I'm gonna have a stroke. There's no infantry on the field now. Oh my god, Panther having a duke out on the right hand side. The left Panther has is going after What was that? A mine? Um, sector on left, uh Panther. Oh about sector. To die. It's... Wow, he might not know. Ooh, there's double vet instantly. I thought if he had just been able to turn around, they might have got a ping off the front armor, and then he would have won. Oh man! The sector didn't save it. He went forward with the Panther or the pan No, the AT gun got brought forward. There's no hedge left to defend him. Oh man, 82 to 3. They're recapping now. No, nothing but that sad little Hummel. Over I think there. that sector would have been better used on the middle point there, maybe. Wow. Nothing but Dude, a Hummel look how left. No units left for either side. Either side! <laughs> They've been killing each other so fast they can't replace it in manpower. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Alright, here comes some Panzer Grenadiers. Upgrading to Gewehrs. Hummel is just 27 kills on that Hummel, dude. A flame grenade in there. Throw yeah. Oh, he scorched it. Ah! <laughs> what if I can't have it, you can't either. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know what. I'm scared. Uh, this game is frightening me. Is I know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hummel's in big trouble. Very low health. Flanked by. Wait a no, minute. They, they don't have recoilless. That's not could... the infamous airborne squad. That one's in the center. Are they, they upgrading? Throw... They're gonna throw a satchel. Watch this. Nope, Sector's exactly. on it though, still from before. You're right, but very nice dodge. Even Ooh, though it's a very kill. slow dodge, it's a very slow. Uh... Sector might kill us in time. God damn it, Sector quit missing. Oh, but they're slowed. Oh, he's going over to the right. Come on, Sector. He's Pinned. Right again. I love how that squad made it out of there with pretty much full health. That's crap. Listen, airborne are the opposite of glass cannons. What's the app? Like a concrete BB gun. 
It's a good analogy, actually. Oh, what? no. Now that he has access to the middle, he can't cap the thing. What is that? He's building roadblocks for cover, maybe? Yeah, he is. Yeah. It's got to be it. I thought he was going to try and repair the middle to try and, you know, win. Nothing else makes sense. <laughs> Seven tank kills. What the shit? God, get behind cover. Yeah, they left cover when they got shot at by the recoilless. Yeah. But look at that. They're getting shot at a long time by those Gewehrs and just not a scratch. Double vet airborne just don't die. They're your cap'n, man. Jeez, I got a little more respect for him now. I always hate them because they can't kill anything, but the fact that they don't die is also pretty awesome. They must get, like, level 2, or, uh, elite armor at vet 1 or 2 or something. Or maybe they start with it, I don't remember. I gotta look it you up. You just got the AT gun, Bridger. Yeah, I saw that. We're going for another set of Panthers, by the way. We're at 851 no. manpower. Oh, God, he's getting a sniper. He got a sniper. And he's getting grenades, too. Th now? <laughs> it took this long to get grenades? <laughs> The airborne would be a lot more effective if they had grenades. How, how is he doing on munitions right now? 40. And manpower? 1,000. Does he realize if he just got like an MP44 squad right now, he probably would win? Two. You could buy two with, with what she's got now. He's repair. She's repair. Uh, pfft, the American's repairing the middle VP. Yep. Tom Clancy's been called in. Indeed. They look really cool from the top down. They look different. I just imagine that sound when you turn on your... Yeah. Doing. Yeah. God, because it has Panthers. to power up. So the Panthers are going to go for the right and kill the Sherman because there's an MG... Well, he, he manned an MG with engineers. Interesting. It'll, it'll do. Yeah, he's sending the squad and he's sending the two Panthers. He's just like, I just need to hold this point. But, oh no! He's got one, he's got just a Hummel defending this left. It's going down right now. Recoilless, go. Recoilless, go. From two feet away. They sit right next to it like, oh, are you the guys we're supposed to oh, kill? <laughs> rear armor hit. Oh, it's been repaired. I didn't notice that. Here goes the Hummel. I know I'm going to die, but I'm going to do my duty. Flak for Lingzi. Oh, the flak is firing. There, it's being capped. It's down oh. to zero. He's getting the point. He disabled it. That's game. That is game. Good job. That's great. That's brilliant. Oh, that was the best use of Scorch that I've ever seen. Ever. Yes. Ever. It's, it, I think, though, Squirrely could have stayed in the game if he had just gone straight for that VP instead of dealing with the Hummel. Yeah. Wow. That was pretty epic. That had a lot of Tales of Heroes first. That, oh, that hurt my brain, but it was so good. Scorched Earth is often treated as like the red-headed stepchild of the Panzer Elite. <laughs> and yeah. uh, it doesn't get a lot of credit because it can't do much for you early on. People like the Hummels. Hummels are good. People like the Sector artillery. Sector's pretty good. But they go, well, what are, what's up with the, with the booby traps? You can just dodge those. Well, even good players don't notice every single time. Lost a machine gun squad that way. Lost a bit of manpower all here and there throughout the entire game. Yeah that way that vp scorching game was scorching brutal. the vps if you can take oh. their pp and scorch it that's brilliant that is so good i don't know what else to say other than wow that was a great tales of heroes episode fantastic uh that was one of the best i think we've ever that's one of the best 1v1s we've ever had i think and i'm so was, glad it actually got recorded okay so thank god <laughs> i wanted to like I wanted to tell you. Oh shit! It didn't get recorded. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I couldn't poker face. Oh <laughs> man! So congratulations to Complexity for this epic match submission. Yeah, seriously. But I have to say congratulations to the other people that submitted games because uh, it was a very difficult decision on on you know what should be considered the best. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I think Sefa had another one of the ones that we're definitely going to cast, and I don't remember who the other one is, but we'll get to those in the next couple of Tales of Heroes. Um, maybe not necessarily in a row, but uh, over the next couple of episodes, it'll definitely happen. Um, let's uh, let's end it, shall we? Indeed. Thanks, uh, thanks, Rogers, for sticking in here, even though you're not feeling good. Sorry about that. <laughs> it was my pleasure, Bridger. Thank you for having me on again. All right, <clears throat> thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you again next time on Tales of Heroes.